Hi guys, welcome Hi. to our channel, Mokel and Valenist and Winnie Moradi yeah, we are at Winton, Winton House of Music. Music. Village market. <laughs> this is uh, where we hang out every Wednesday. So this, yes, <laughs> and we are graduating. Here I am yeah, with my violin. Exactly. And I came in leisurely, leisurely for class thinking, oh, I'm just going to come and hang out. Be a, yeah, and, and <laughs> have a usual tete a tete. But yeah, the but, teacher is in a different space today. She's in a different zone, man. She's telling me you're in grade, you're doing grade seven. Yeah. Violin, it's time to. Okay, we need to get the technique get, up. Again. Yeah. So we want, yeah, because yeah, it's been a while since I did an exam. Yeah. We need to work and you focused technique. a lot on the technique so yes. that you can play at that level. And at that very high level. And, and what is better in developing technique than scales? Scales, guys. Yeah. So Those patterns to, that are repetitive. Yeah. That, mm. Because scales are really basically the, we call it the building blocks. The building blocks. Yes. Your the vegetables. Building, yes, your vegetables. <laughs> and, and the whole spectrum of technique yeah. covers, uses scales to help with the intonation, yeah. that correct pitching, the sound. Mm. Have you ever heard a violin is playing out of tune? Where? Hey, I, I, don't know, I don't know why the violin sounds so I, bad I, when you're out of tune. It sounds horrible. You are, you cannot be forgiven. You're not it's, forgiven. It's, it's a very unforgiving Even you man. don't forgive yourself, yeah. man. By the way, did you guys know, this is some trivia, that violinists have, because of the, the nature of the instrument, yeah. there's something about the violin, you know, it doesn't have frets like the guitar. So, getting the correct intonation is, is a forever thing. And because of that, way. violinists have to really tune their ear yeah. to work by listening. So that precision oh. on on how you, you, you bow mm -hmm. on the, the particular note, mm -hmm. you know, so that it comes out right, yeah. is always one of those hard things for violin. That's why sometimes, a lot of times you hear violinists, especially at so the level, yes. going off pitch. Mm -hmm. And that's why Patricia is here, to work with a pianist who has for got pitching. for me it's easy yes. <laughs> because my pitches my, my keys are obvious that's a d it that's will a never change. It it will will never change. change. I, so and, and the piano has the pattern but for for violin it's it's more the one with the approximation find it with the approximation yes. so they really have to dip, mm. dip into that inner ear mm. and so it can be a challenge and so scales are a good way to really work on intonation because it covers the whole spectrum of notes that you need in a piece yeah and then besides that what else are we also doing so we're going to do three scales and we're going to do G major. Actually, two. Sorry, we're going to do we're, yeah, we're going to do two scales, G yeah. major and D major. Yeah. Then we're going to do them in um, in legato, in slurs, and in staccato. I think we'll do it. I don't know how we how the arrangement is. Yeah. And then we'll do D major, and we're going to do it grade seven style. I mean, I'm just yeah, I've just shot up like this. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Having not played for such a long time. Yeah. You think, please, and and I mean, playing, very relaxed. Yeah. The, but just the intonation and the flexibility. Flexibility. Playing a little faster. Yeah. Also, we were we're talking to, about articulation. Yes. Uh, yeah. Articulation in music just means how how you enunciate mm. your, your music yeah. you know it's like speech if i use uh, speaking if i speak on just one sound you know it's boring i yes. have to keep inflecting my speech mm. to create interest yes sometimes it's totally. short notes yeah. sometimes i pull a note so it's exactly that's what i feel like using the bow mm. you can do different sounds you can use the bow to pr create different articulation mm -hmm. so one is called legato legato is the main articulation even in different instruments in all instruments where the notes sound connected but you can hear each individual one also a bit clearer yeah that's that's legato and then there is legato means smooth we use Italian terms to, to, to because Italian uh, Italian is really a classical language, one yes. of the first classical yeah, languages, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. classical music languages. Yeah. And then and then there's staccato. Staccato is bouncy. So when you want to make something sound playful, we bounce off, the, bounce notes. off the notes. So we play as short as possible. Yeah. And then the rest of it, you like you. Note flies into the, the air. air. Yes. <laughs> you can't count in the air because you can yes. have a long note, you have to play staccato yeah. for the time to, to mm -hmm. get finished. Mm -hmm. So you still have to count it in your head, mm -hmm. but you only touch it very shortly. And then there's one that is very even now the emphasis is even more smoother. It's, it's called slur. Yeah, you when you play with slurs, yeah. Yes. So you use the in, one the ball on different notes. Into each to, note. Yeah, into different notes. Into different notes. Yeah, one ball capturing different, different notes. notes. So yeah. you'll hear the difference. And I hope when you hear Patricia playing those different articulations, on the piano might not make a big difference as on the violin. Yeah. But the piano basically is to is to guide her on there in, into the intonation. intonation. Yeah. And then think. What part, if you listen to a piece of music, if you're the one to, to put the violin to accompany that piece of music, would you use which what articulation? Yeah. Which articulation would work for yeah. a certain a character if something needs to sound smooth? Or yeah. where would you put the bouncy? Where would you put the very, very, very legato, very smooth? Yeah. For it's example, like the, the piece that we're playing, the Thais yeah. meditation, that one you can tell most of it is going to be very, meditation. So yeah, it's very, so it's very smooth. Yeah, slurry. everything yeah, is legato. Yes, and, and yeah. if you're working on a back piece, yes. then that's more staccato, I believe. Yes. 
quick, quick, in quick yeah. succession. When you have a, especially fast moving, fast notes. moving notes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. So because you will, it creates you that, tell the that playfulness. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Playfulness. All, All right. right so we get on with it. So we start. Yeah. With, we'll start with G major. Yeah. Um. So the speed is pam 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 pam. So we do it legato, the normal way. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four. That's one note with a bit Yeah, I missed the note. Yeah, yeah. yeah, bad, not bad. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to do once more? Yes. Okay, ready, go. Can you try the arpeggio? So the arpeggio is yes. skipping notes. Yeah, so arpeggio yeah. is skipping notes. The do mi so do so mi yeah, do. Yeah, we do that a lot in singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually playing chords, basically. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah those are chords. chords. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, we do legato first. Yeah, so uh, legato. Bam, 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 bam. One, two, three. Oh, it's, it's part. One, two. Yeah, we do it in threes, yeah? Okay. Yeah, let's start with Yeah, so you focus and then you keep sliding. The B. Is There's something that. The yeah, B and the, 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 the D. No, it's the B. It's the B, eh? Yeah, the B is flat. Okay. Change to the to the first position. Oh, uh, why don't you try the third? Okay. 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 One, two, three, go.
have a focus. It's, it's the you have to get out from the previous one yes, and focus yeah. on the new one. Yeah. Let's try staccato. So staccato. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah. Can you go from the top three? Work in progress. Work in progress. That because it's been a while. Yeah. And then the last one, let's try the, the slide. Slide. Yeah. This is to hear the difference in, artic in the mm -hmm. articulation. One, two, three, go. I'm like, okay, at this rate of grade seven, speed, yes, I'm like, exactly. what? I'm still even going to be a bit faster. Next time we're using a metronome. Yeah. Yeah. So the <laughs> metronome doesn't, doesn't lie, because I'm sympathetic. It so doesn't I'm lie. Going to be a yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and that's so, the homework to work with. That. That's the homework yeah. to work with. Yeah. Yeah. So that's so I'm good yeah. to work with. That yeah, I think, I think that's good for the D major. Let's stick that's with perfect. the scale. Yeah. Yeah, and then, yeah, just really listen. I mean, the fact that at least we've recorded with the piano, it will help yeah, you know that's fantastic. how you're, mm. you're dealing with your pitching. Yes. Because again, remember in grade seven, you have so many other different types of scales. So you need to sort out the major scales are your basis. For for yeah. reference, reference for mm. everything else, mm. so they really need to be solid. Yeah, and yeah. I, I don't even know what the grade seven scales are. I need to yeah. go and do the research yeah. and get the book it, and start. I, yeah, <laughs> seriously. Oh, serious okay. note. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're gonna close this video. It is twelve minutes long, but it was worth it. What do you guys yeah. think? Yeah. Yeah. So you know where to find us, and um, please subscribe this video. If there's anybody who's been wanting to play this instrument, you need a can. A can let me tell you, you need an accompanist. You can't yeah, a pick pianist. up. A, a, sorry, and a pianist. Yeah. To, and she's always said that. She always said that. You know, once you have a, a pianist, then you know you're very aware of your of your notes. Yeah. I mean, what we call the concert pitch, because the piano yeah, gives you pitch. the concert pitch yeah. directly, directly, so you don't have to look for it. Yeah. But on the violin, you have to look for it. Yeah. So you need that support. Yeah. 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 So absolutely, you know where to find. You know where to find us, but we'll just repeat it yeah. for your sake. Yeah. <laughs> so Winnie is the busiest music educator in showbiz. You will find her on three platforms. You will find her as on Facebook, Winnie the Music Educator. You yeah. will find her on YouTube, and you will find as Winnie Moradi and Instagram. Yeah, and LinkedIn. And yeah. LinkedIn. I was yeah. busy. <laughs> so I can bring those the business, eh? Yes. Yeah. Because, because we also perform, as well. right? Yeah, we're performers, by yeah, the way. So we have grown. We, we are performers. Do more performance this yes, year. So absolutely. please do engage us. Anyone yes. who has got a corporate mm. performance, mm. individually, if it's a birthday, yeah. just link up with us. Yeah, and we'll and you us. Yeah, so I've signposted you to Winnie, and you will always find me on Instagram, Kenyan yeah. Violinist, and Facebook, Patricia Zomo, and YouTube, Ken and Violinist. Yeah. And there's so many nice reels and all these shots that yeah. we've been doing. We're going yeah. to start go and putting about, shots. Yeah. And, and yeah. also what you're going to do with Winnie, actually, is we're going to start putting shots. What The one minute shots telling you about music. Just yeah. signposting you about what it is. Like what the lesson she just gave us on articulation, yeah. what music does to the brain, yeah. intonation. All those will come in our shots so yeah. that we can, every, every week when you come, you can learn something, something new. new. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. So, all right, thank you. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. Thank you.